Hello and welcome to this tutorial that will show you exactly how to use the search engine called Google. Now you're probably wondering, what on earth is Google? Well don't worry, I'll be showing you exactly what it is, along with how to use it as well. Now the very first thing that you're going to want to do is to connect to the internet using your dial-up modem. Now if you don't have a dial-up modem, then just, just, just get one. It's, it's, you know, you can, you can probably find one online. Although, actually, you won't, you won't have the internet, so... Just, just, just get the internet, really. Just, just, just find the internet and get it, get it installed in your, in your home or on your phone, um, and then you'll be okay. So, once you've done that, the very first thing you'll want to do after that is to click on your internet browser. And the very first thing you should see is this, this page here. Um, now, as, as you can see on my screen, um, which will be your screen as well, um, Google is already preloaded. Now, if that doesn't appear on your screen straight away, you don't need to panic. Um, you just need to type in this address bar at the top here. So you just type it in, um, as you can see, as, as it's written, um, like google.com, uh, press enter, and it will, it will load this page here. Okay, um, and as you can see, there's there's a nice little picture here. Um, this, if you hover over it with with your mouse, um, it should say what it is. So this is celebrating Ch Chaiuni Sugihara. Um, I'm not entirely sure who, who that is, but I, I'm sure that there's someone out there that, that will know. Um, so if you do know, just just leave it in the comments um, so that ev everyone will know who, who this person is. Okay, um, now here is um, a, a bar where you can type in anything you want. Um, below, below there's Google search. Don't know what that does. Never, never done that, never tried that, clicking on that button before. Um, and here is I'm feeling lucky. Um, now this is just a basic tutorial showing you how to use Google. Um, if we want an advanced tutorial, um, if you want an advanced tutorial, I should say, then just just leave it in the comments, and I'll, and I'll go through these advanced features such as I, I'm feeling lucky. Um, but as I said, this is just the basic, just the basic features. Um, so you know, it's just just very simple, simple stuff we'll be going through here, like you know, like like this and that. Um, okay, so what you want to do um, is type something in, in here, in this search bar. Um, so what we're going to type is how to use Google. So this should actually help uh, show you how to use Google um, and it will mean that I won't actually need to do teach you anything because Google will actually tell us what to do itself so that, that that will be much easier I think so once you've just typed in what you want to uh, say in the search bar then you just press enter on your keyboard like that and it will load up the search results and as you can see we have we have several different links to different websites. Um, so, you know, for example, here we can just click, <clears throat> click on this website, and it will show you show us how to search on Google. So, like, you know, there's text here. Um, I'll, I'll read a bit out. Um, this isn't really a reading tutorial, but I'll, I'll read a bit out for you. Um, so it says here, tip one, start with the basics. No matter what you're looking for, start with a simple search like, where's the closest airport? So yeah, so just, just type in where's the closest airport, um, that's what Google says. Um, so I, I don't really want to do that because I don't know where that will lead. Um, and. Oh, I was told never to type in anything that I don't know what what the results would be because you know that could be risky. You could, you could end up lost it somewhere on the internet, and you don't want that to happen to you. So just keep your search 
Um, I'll, I'll keep it very uh, plain and simple um, in, a, in a safe safe area. You you, you know you don't want to end up getting lost. Otherwise, you have to you know call someone for help, and you don't you don't don't really want to do that. Um, now to go back, you just press back. It's like this back arrow here. You wait for it to load, and it's loaded back to the search results again. Now, if you want to type something else, you're probably wondering, you know, what do I do? What on earth do I do? Well, at the top here, the search bar is here. It's, it's still here. Um, it's got your current search result. So now we can search for something else. So let's search for results. So if we type in results, and then we press enter again, now you must press enter. If you don't press enter, it, it won't it won't load the results. So here here it shows all, all the results page for the word results. Um, so there's various results here. Uh, lots of horse racing if you're interested in horse racing. Um, there's there's a football football results. Um, and then at the bottom here, um, Google even does you a kind little favor of typing in. Uh, searches related to results. So you know, if if your if your spelling isn't that good, or if if there's something that's closely res related to what you're searching for, it will appear at the bottom here. Now at the bottom here, it says Google. Uh, I don't know why why it does that, but um, like there's there's more pa there's like there's more like pages and stuff. So you you can just click on another page. So th this will bring up more results. So there's there's even more results now. This is page two of about ten. Is that million? A billion? Trillion? Like ten, and then like the, there's lots of lots of results here. So like I could show you every page. Um, again, that could take quite a bit of time. So I'm not going to show you every single page. Um, I'll just show you one more page, I think. Um, because I know that's what you what you really want to see. So if we click next, it will load the third page of results. So here we have Formula One racing results and event results, um, German Grand Prix results as well. So if you, if you want to know the good German Grand Prix results, you just type results into the search bar and then go to page three. And then you can click on this website and it will bring up the German Grand Prix results. So that is how to use Google. I know it's quite complicated at first. It will take you a very long time to get the hang of it. It took me possibly three or four months. Um, I am a slow learner, so yeah, but I mean, for, for any one of you, you know, for, for you guys out there, maybe, maybe one or two months. Um, so yeah, just just don't get too frustrated at right at the, right at the beginning because I know it can be frustrating um, when you don't get the hang of it. But just 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 persevere, just keep going, and I'm sure you'll get there at some point, and you'll be able to figure out how to use Google. Okay, so that is the tutorial. I hope you have learned something, and you will be able to use Google from now on. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.